Hello and welcome back again to G Security. Today is the first video of 2024, so congratulations and happy new year 2024. So 2024 is going to the, be the year of make it or break it. We are going to learn cybersecurity. And this video is going to focus on the Metasploit framework, a very nice framework, very, very powerful that hackers and cyber criminals use to do penetration testing. So penetration is basically is uh, looking and exploiting vulnerabilities and flaws in computer systems and networks. The Metasploit framework is one of the most useful testing tools available to security professionals. Using Metasploit, we can access exploits for, for a wide variety of applications and operating systems. You can automatically scan, test, and exploit systems using code that other hackers have already written. So Metasploit comes in two flavors. We have the Metasploit Community and the Metasploit Pro. In this, in this video, we're going to utilize the Metasploit Community Edition, which is already installed in Kali Linux and other ethical hacking distributions. So if you're using Kali Linux, Parrot Linux, Blachart, and uh, other ethical hacking distributions, you don't need to worry about Metasploit installed. It's already installed for you. So today we are going to look at how we can find vulnerabilities and also how to use exploits in Metasploit framework. So I already have Metasploitable 2 installed. We are going to use it as the victim machine, the target, and Kalinux will be our attacking machine. So let's go ahead and ping our Metasploitable 2 to see if we can reach it. 192.168.0103. So we are getting replies from Metasploitable 2. It's up and running. Let's go ahead and do sudo msfdb in it to initialize the database, sudo. So this is going to start the database, put everything in place, create our database, our username, and our old configuration, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to run Metasploit framework and then scan the Metasploitable 2 machine to find open ports and then hopefully also get some vulnerabilities to exploit. So let's give it a minute. It's creating the initial database schema. All right, clear. Now let's run MSF console to start the Metasploit framework console. And there it is. Metasploit version 6.2.9. We have, so in Metasploit, we have exploits, auxiliaries, we have post, knobs, encoders, we have payloads and evasion. So in my first video introduction to Metasploit, I covered an explanation of, of all these. So today we're going to focus on exploits. And in Metasploit version 6.2.9, we have 2,230 exploits. Now you can do show exploits to uh, look at all the exploits that are available in the Metasploit framework. You can see all the exploits, you can't go through all of them. Now what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to scan the Metasploitable 2 machine. We can do db nmap, and then, uh, so the SV is for service and version detection, and then let's do T5. I want it to be quick, that's the speed, and then 168.0103. And then I want verbose input. Let's go ahead. So this is the uh, Metas uh, Metasploitable 2 machine. We're scanning it. You can see all the open ports that are available. So I'm not going to wait for the scan to complete. I'm going to cancel. So what I know is that we already have port. Uh, we are going to uh, exploit the port uh, 21 FTP. So if I do sudo. So I uh, let's do sudo. No, no, db, no, db, sorry, so what's up, what's up, what's up, db, it's the keyboard, the keyboard, the keyboard, db nmap, uh, t5, sv, 192.168.0103, and then port 21. So let's just go ahead and scan point 21. So if you already have uh, 
if you already have Metasploitable 2, you can play around with it. Very, very nice tool. So I think by far Metasploitable 2 is the best actually uh, the, a, a target machine that you can use to practice your uh, hacking skills. So you can see that I have a port 21 open. It's running FTP and VSTPT 2.3.4. Now let's go ahead and look for... So by default, all these ports and services that are running here have vulnerabilities. Just install Metasploitable to go to vanhub.com, look for Metasploitable 2, uh, install it on VirtualBox and play around with it. All these ports and services have some weaknesses. Now let's go ahead and exploit port 21, FTP, and this is the version of FTP that is running. Now what you can do after scanning a target machine and finding the open ports and the services, what you need to do next is to go ahead and look for any weaknesses or vulnerabilities in that particular service. For example, FTP, we are going to look at the, the, any vulnerabilities that are associated with this version of FTP, VSFTPD 2.3.4. Now in our Metasploit framework, we can do search VSFTPD 2.3.4. Let's see if there are any exploits associated with that uh, service. Now you can see that we have a matching module. We have an exploit targeting this specific version of VSFTPD. So if you scan a system and find that they're running FTP and version 2.3.4, mm, then it's game over for them. You can see that it's ranked as excellent. It doesn't support check. Check basically means that we can be we are we have the ability to to check if the system is vulnerable to an exploit before sending that exploit to that system so we are going to use so you can say use zero to select that exploit or you can just go the long route and highlight the or copy the exploit but just to make things easier we can say use zero i think there's no need to give yourself some hard work Mm, I don't know what's okay. Okay, so let's do show options to look at the options that are associated with the exploit. So we need to put the remote host that is the art host, the target host, and then we'll also put in some payload. So, first of all, let's set our host to our metasploitable 2168103. So, if I do options, options again. You can see that the R host is set. Now let's look at the payloads that we can use for with this particular exploit. And you can do that by doing show payloads. So we only have one payload that can work with that uh, exploit. Fine. We can do set payload zero. Options again. Now, all right. Um, Okay, I don't know if the payload has been set. So let's do set, set payload. Mm. What's up with? Okay, so let's do let's 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 send the exploit uh, to the metasploitable tool. You can do exploit. So you can do exploit or run to send the exploit to the target machine. Now you can see that the backdoor serving has been sold. We have found a shell under command shell session one has been opened. Now we can do things like uh, ls to look at the directories, pwd to look at the current working directory. And I'm going to show you something else. So using shell is not very, very interactive. We can upgrade this uh, command shell to a metaplater shell so that we can find we can have some nice uh, a nice interface to work with the session. So we can do background to background this session. Say yes, and then if you do sessions, it will list all the sessions that you have. You can see that we have a command shell here. Now what we are going to do? We are going to upgrade this shell to a metaplater shell. So you can go ahead and search meta metaplater shell. So it's a nice shell that you can, it's very interactive uh, to be simple. So we can do, let's do sessions, dash u to upgrade, and then the session number or the session ID, which is one here. And then this will go ahead and 
upgrade your session to our meta preta shell lovely so sending stage now if we do sessions all right all right all right what's what meta it's already open another session let's do control c now if you do sessions you can see that now we have a meta preta shell now we can interact with any of these uh sessions by doing say sorry we can do sessions dash i for interact and then the uh, session id if it's one for the command shell or two for the meta preta let's do two and now we are in a meta preta shell you can do help to look at all the commands that you can use to target that system so they have been grouped into categories with core commands file system commands networking commands for example you can look at the a uh, ip configuration for that system if it has a webcam you can actually stream that webcam you can take a webcam list if it was an android phone you can dump sms dump call logs and so forth so for example we can do system info to look at the information on our meta splitable to machine so guys that is how you find a vulnerability and searching for vulnerability on metaspread framework and actually exploiting it so i hope you have learned something today keep learning meta uh, cyber security is all about learning learning and learning and not just learning practicing the skills so it's a practical thing you need to set up your uh, your targets there metasploitable metasploitable to web web uh, this web app, vulnerable web applications install them on your uh, vm uh, vmware virtual box and practice it's always about practice 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 so thank you for watching this video and continue hacking ethically of course